Well, hey guys, good morning. You all uh, seemed to enjoy the beauty counter review yesterday, so I thought, uh, you know, it's been a while since I've done kind of a updated skincare routine, since I've been incorporating Differin at night. Um, so I wanted to kind of verbiage through my morning uh, skincare routine today, especially since some of you are new. Um, so every morning I wash my face with uh, the Neutrogena Clear Pore uh, Cleanser Mask. This has 3.5% uh, benzoyl peroxide, which is great for um, acne prone skin. Alternatively, I also sometimes have used, uh, I'm a big fan of the Neutro Neutrogena Salicylic Acid Oil Free Acne Wash. Um, people are asking me, is it okay to use this the morning, the morning after Differin? Yes, just don't mix them together at the same time. I always wash my face in uh, lukewarm, tepid water, never, never hot water. There's no need to go scrubbing your face, um, regardless of what kind of skin you have. It's, it's generally a bad idea to go harshly scrubbing your face. Um, you guys are asking me about that derma needling thing and all these traumatic sounding torture devices. Just use your finger pads. All right, so I just rinsed my face, and I've been loving these. Uh, so I've been using these white washcloths that I got at Costco the other day to just dab, pat dry my face. And then I always come in with a broad spectrum uh, sunscreen. Broad spectrum meaning it blocks against UV. Broad spectrum meaning it offers protection against UVA and UVB, both wavelengths of ultraviolet radiation. Um, and I like zinc or titanium, di zinc titanium dioxide based sunscreens, which as I mentioned yesterday, physically block the sun. I've really been enjoying the CeraVe one because it's got, uh, it's a physical sunscreen, SPF 50. Higher SPF, guys, doesn't mean uh, that it lasts longer, that it's better. It has to do with the fact that most people don't put enough sunscreen screen on to get to the labels SPF, okay? So we figure the higher you go, the more likely you are to get 15 all over your face, okay? 15 all over your face would actually be just fine, but most people don't do that, okay? So I'm coming in with 50, and the reason that I like this product, I will link it below, is that it has ceramides in it, which are a component of the natural moisturizing factor of our skin, of, our, of the top layer of our skin, that keep water in the, they help to keep water in the skin and keep it hydrated, okay? Because it functions nicely, not only as a, a good broad spectrum sunscreen, but also as a good morning moisturizer. You always wanna make sure you put sunscreen on your neck. And incredibly important is getting a layer on your lips. Make sure you get your ears too. Ears get skin cancers right up here. And so as you can see, I have like, you know, a white film on my face, which probably is not cosmetically that desirable, um, which is why I come in with another um, zinc titanium based sunscreen that I love, but it's a little pricey. It's the Elta MD Tinted Moisturizer. This is essentially my makeup. I just use it to kind of cam camouflage some of that white. And then I like to uh, come in with a CeraVe healing ointment on my lips. You don't want to put this on your face though. <laughs> it would definitely break you out. I love the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. That's basically my morning skincare routine. Oh, but guys, the water that I'm drinking right now, let me just tell you this. Okay, if you'll recall on Friday, I made my own um, ginger turmeric uh, apple cider vinegar shot, if you will, in the Ninja. All I did, guys, was chop up a generous cube of ginger, a tiny cube of peeled turmeric root, um, a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, cold water, put it in the Ninja to puree it and just poured it in this bottle. And I, I mean, it's pretty strong and it's, it seems to be getting stronger. I have just been putting splashes in my water with lime. It is like, it's like a gingery, um, refreshing water. Oh, it's really good. Really good. Highly recommend it, but... Anyways, I was just taking a photograph of these cookies that I made over the, that I made the other day. You guys wanted to see a recipe video, so I was just taking a photograph of the cookies. Um, they came out really good. I used the almond pulp from my uh, nut milk making expeditions that I've been doing, so um, yeah, they came out really good, guys. These are completely vegan um, and uh, very good, guys. So I'm here at Field of Greens, which is a vegan, raw foods, vegetarian restaurant. So I went ahead and ordered, but um, they have a ton of 
awesome stuff. I had such a hard time deciding. They've got, it's like a completely vegan menu. They do have some non vegan menus on here too. Um, and then they have a whole raw vegan food section. Check out the jumbo size brags they have here. I'm stoked. Do you guys ever use liquid aminos? It's a good uh, substitute for soy sauce. I like the coconut aminos. I want to make this Mrs. Bragg. She seems nice. Paul, Mr. and Mrs. Bragg, Paul and Patricia. They seem like they get down on Saturday night with uh, Bob, our gluten-free friend. But... All right, so this looks wonderful. Check it out, guys. The seaweed club, which is on sprouted uh, gluten-free bread, and it's got uh, seaweed and this tofu. And look at the veg game. Look at the veg game, guys. And then the carrot ginger soup. The restaurant is called Field of Greens. All right, guys, I'm here at uh, the clubhouse, but um, physical blockers being zinc or titanium dioxide, uh, they reflect uh, ultraviolet radiation's rays. Um, but titanium dioxide, they really can't get rid of that white stuff. So someone was asking me, are zinc only ones uh, just as good? And, and they pretty much are, okay? See, sunscreens, guys, look for the words broad spectrum. Sunscreen is actually regulated in the United States by the FDA in terms of what they claim. They have to under, it has to undergo testing uh, to, to, to demonstrate something called minimal erythema dosing is how, is how the SPF is determined. Guys, I don't know if you can check this out. It's like some sort of little, like, I don't know, baby ant carrying a little, I don't know, piece of dust on the roof of my car. And look at him go. Well, hey guys, I'm back from uh, Costco and Kroger. Got my groceries. And I whipped up the uh, dough for my uh, signature veggie burgers. Vegan veggie burgers here. I'm, I'm in love with this recipe. These are just the tops of the peppers, which I'll probably snack on when I come back. So I'm about ready to head out um, for my run, but I think when I get back, I'll just shape them into patties and um, get them in the oven while I take my shower. And, and I'll have them for lunch tomorrow and uh, for dinner tonight. So yeah, I'm loving that recipe. And some of you guys have mentioned that you tried it and really liked it. Um, so yeah, go check out the recipe video, guys. Um, should be hey guys, so I'm all back from the gym. So as far as my nighttime skincare routine, this is this is what I've been doing. In the shower, I wash my makeup off with this. Um, I've been using this Neutrogena uh, Fresh Foaming Cleanser um, just to take off basically my mascara and the sunscreen. And then while I'm in the shower, I have been um, coming back with benzoyl peroxide. I use Panoxyl um, at night. It's 10% benzoyl peroxide. I put it on my face. I put it on my back, um, kind of my chest area and my rear rear to cut down on breakouts related to working out. I don't use any soap on my body elsewhere. I let the Panoxyl sit there for about four or five minutes while I'm in the shower, but I don't use soap anywhere on my body. And I've said this before on here, you don't need to use soap um, except in your face, armpits, and groin or visibly soiled areas. Um, stronger is not better. Stronger tends to be more irritating, but I myself am, am pretty well tall. I tolerate benzoyl peroxide pretty well, so I, I like Panoxyl, and I just leave it on the skin in the shower at nighttime for a few minutes and then rinse it off. Um, it cuts down on breakouts related to working out, and it has an anti-inflammatory and antibacterial property. If I'm having some... Um, some rough areas related to keratosis pilaris on my upper arms. I will take, come in, I've been coming in with a, um, just a plain washcloth and uh, just gently, a few circles and that's it. Then I turn off the shower and stay in the shower and uh, to wet skin, I put on my face, the Neutrogena oil-free moisturizer to wet skin on my face and to wet skin on my body while I'm still in the shower but the shower's not running I put um, moisture this I've been using this Eucerin repair cream to my entire uh, body basically this has ceramide in it again um, which is good for restoring the natural moisture factor on the surface of the skin no you don't need to be ingesting this someone was asking me there's they're really trying to sell you a vitamin to take that has this that makes no sense honestly guys I don't like the beauty industry, they're, they're just, 
They're crooks. They're crooks. They're like the, the thieves at the bulk bin, just just taking nuts and candy and, and everything, everything. And then when I get out of the shower, I don't use a towel on my body because I want the water to stay in my skin, not on the towel. And so I just step out on um, to a little towel on the floor and kind of skim on over to my sink. And by the time I do that, my wet, moisturized skin is actually um, air dried. Um, so you don't need to use a towel. Um, and then at that point I come in with it just a pea sized amount of, uh, of different to my face. This is Adapalene. I've been using this uh, for my um, acne and uh, just to kind of help with pores and uh, that sort of thing. Um, and if you guys are interested in how I started incorporating this into my routine and you're new here, go through my uh, vlogs throughout January because I chronicle it there in each evening. Um, I also use this CeraVe healing ointment again around my lips and um, kind of around my eyes just to make sure that the adapling doesn't get in those areas and keep my lips moisturized. And yeah, that's ba oh, and I also sometimes put this on my heels um, to uh, kind of soften the calluses. And that's basically it, guys. I will, um, in the, the descriptor box below, I will list everything that I use if you're interested. But bear in mind, you know, this is what works for me. I don't have rosacea. I have mild hormonal acne um, that I'm able, that I, tr that I, that is under very good control with just simply benzoyl peroxide um, gel. It was under well control before I even started the adapalene. Um, so, I mean, that's where I'm at. Benzoyl peroxide has a long-standing history of, of efficacy and uh, clinical efficacy in, in acne. Um, so that's why I use it. But the basic tenant, I, I believe, is the more simple your skincare routine is, the better off you'll, you'll be, honestly. Just just keeping it simple and consistency. I, I really want to continue to emphasize that this applies to men and women, um, having a skincare routine. So if I have any men, so the men folk who are tuning in, um, this applies to you too. It's not simply just, you know, a beauty routine. It's, it's a skin health routine. Um, but really, honestly, like, you should not be spending, like, like, 80 bucks for a cream, honestly, like, that's insane, guys, like, you don't, like, no. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go, uh, get the veggie burgers in, and I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>